and personally for myself anger that healing that 11 and a half years I've worked for I've gone back to that time when I learned that my brother had been killed and there is one terrorist in this world that the world needs to be aware of and his name is Tony Blair yeah. the world's worst terrorist Previous view of it. And over the last two or three weeks, he's been sort of covering his you back. Think he knew up. he was misleading at the time, in your view. Yeah, he, oh, he, he made a decision, and he made the, it from from what again, as, as everybody else has said, I've got this this morning. I'll have to sit down and read it properly. But from what I, from what I read, yeah, he knew exactly what he was doing. Can I just read out to you Tony Blair's reaction that he has recently given out a statement? I will take full responsibility for any mistakes without exception or excuse. I will at the same time say why, nonetheless, I believe it was better to remove Saddam Hussein. Above all, I pay tribute to armed forces. I will express my profound regret at the loss of life and the grief it's caused families. I will set out the lessons I believe future leaders can learn from my experience. Well, that was nice that you didn't speak from the heart. That's just a PR pattern, lawyer approved. And there's his apologies to the he's offering. Can I, can I just make a heart. comment on Bills that? We, we've One thing I find very interesting that you're all reading from your phones, but why is he not here looking at us? Yeah. If he's so sure of his decision, why is he not here looking at our eyes and actually seeing our faces? And you, as a Gobi did ask to meet him, and he walked away, so this is his opportunity to even when gave speak his, to the families now. When he gave his evidence, it was definitely the Tony Blair show. He thinks he's the puppet yeah. master pulling the strings. Yeah. Well, you know, Tony. Well, do you know, we proved him wrong, because everything we said for the start, has actually come out today. And I think he thought they're going to give up and walk away. What would you say to him if he was here? <laughs> <laughs> exactly what I've been saying to the world. I'd look me in the eye. Yep. Look me in the eye. Why did you kill my son? Send my son to be killed. Because yeah, I'd hold him responsible for the murder of my son. You would, you would yeah. say, look me in the eye and tell me that you did not mislead the nation in invading Iraq. Yeah. Why does he promise on his family? <laughs> so yeah. In response to the gentleman there, I think what we have to bear in mind is that the uh, intelligence reports were coming back, which were sporadic, patchy, untried, untested, mm. um, not to be re relied upon. And by the time Tony Blair and Alistair Campbell had finished with it, it was detailed, authoritative, up and running now, available to be deployed within 45 <laughs> minutes. I firmly believe Tony Blair knew that was a lie, yeah. and that was what was perpetrated upon the British public. Absolutely. And, and he knew that he was manufacturing and massaging the intelligence reports. He moulded it to how the, he wanted to present it to the world. He changed it from ifs, buts and maybes to definites, to definites. up and running now.